Hi, SuperSpirits here, back with another Ordinal Market video, episode 52, and it's been several days since last episode because I've just been, I've, I've been really busy. So, I have almost E63 incrementy. This boosts the doubling from like 3.03 .03 times to 3.14 times, which really isn't all that much. I actually calculated with like E99 incrementy or with enough of these doubler upgrades, it's only about a triple boost to incrementy gain, which is not a lot. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna exit the Omega Challenge. I've heard there is something I should try to do at this point, and this is go for Basal Milestone three. And I think let's see, do I have to do the Challenge eight stuff yet? Yeah, I, again, I still have to do it. Okay. Um. Uh. Right now the game is completely bugging out because. I'm trying to exit the Omega Challenge, it's doing nothing, I try to collapse, and it does nothing, and I get this in base 3. I get Omega to the Omega to the Omega in base 3, which should just be Epsilon Naught or the Psi of Capital Omega. This is really weird, I'm just going to reload the game. Okay, problem solved. It looks like it looks normal again, so I'm just going to yeah, I'm just gonna do what I was going to do previously. Okay, I've done all the Challenge 8 completions, and now I'm getting a bunch of boosters, and I'm not sure exactly how many I want if I want to go for Baseless Milestone um, 3. And also, the Singularity level looks like the optimal is around 60, so that's what I'm going to do. It doesn't look like I'm really getting much incrementy. I mean, I don't think this 3 times multiplier and incrementy was enough. People are saying that Baseless Milestone 4 was a lot better than, than the trying to get that Omega Challenge. And also, I've heard that, like, d after doing Baseless Milestone 3, somehow, you can sum... Oh, you know, it's because it's probably... It's, you forever keep the first four function upgrades, but that's just Singularity function upgrade. But it's for free, so maybe... Okay. I, I, I definitely want to see if I can do this Baseless Milestone. I'm not sure if it's possible at this point, but... Um, I'm... I mean, maybe it's possible, and I'm not, I don't really think I need the base 6 is now base 5 upgrade, but then also these boosters are boosting this tier 1 and tier 2 automation by quite a lot, so I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll, I'll just try it to see if it's, if it's possible at all, just so I can, I can get a sense of where I can get up to. It looks like I can reach, it's, I don't think it's, I'm even close right now, because the baseless milestone is yeah i'm not even close i need to get more boosters first because yeah this is just this is nowhere near what i need like there's, there's no way i'm i'm going to get there anytime soon so i'm i'm going to exit the challenge and just grind factor boosts because right now i don't have enough you can also i also can get more assigned cardinals here. I'm up to E33 in each, which doesn't really mean anything. If I can get up to 2E33, that's another singularity level. I think what I want to do for grinding factor boost is get up to like maybe 66 or something. Um, right now, it's not a lot, but I know over the course of a day, this will be probably near optimal for grinding singularity levels. Maybe I'll just do 65 instead because. The penalty for like going for going one less, like you can see, it's not that much. Versus the penalty for going over, is a lot, is a lot stricter. So I'll just do singularity 65 here, and hopefully I will grind enough factor boosts that I will be able to complete baseless milestone three. And I really, I I, I feel like this is. At the very least, it's going to be a nice quality of life thing. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to be a game changer for getting decrementy in Omega Challenge 1. But, yeah, I, I'm just going to do what the what the people say. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back a couple days later, and I have almost a trillion factor boosts. And, yeah, um, I, I think... Right now, I'm actually at Singularity 71. I did optimize this off camera, and I actually noticed I could get a lot of incrementy because if I if I go to Auto Procedures, turn this off, um, you can see how much incrementy I'm getting. I'm getting 4e94 per second. But not only that, 
I can do better. If I upgrade the Singularity a bunch, I can get even more. It looks like I can probably get E97 or even maybe even E98 per second, which is I want to sort of get all the way up to E100. I feel like I feel like that's definitely possible, and that would allow me to get another manifold. So another thing I can actually do is um, I noticed that if I change the build slightly to this, um, I the thing is this right now it has no effect um, versus previously. However, the thing is that um, once I do get another singularity function, this will increase the all of two effects by 40%, which means I'll be getting more ordinal points and more incrementy. So, yeah, that's another thing to go for. Also, I'm going to get this E99 um, incrementy upgrade. This will uh, multiply production of incrementy by 3.14 times. And I'm not sure if I should try to go another singularity level up. Um, I, I'll go one. Uh, okay, maybe that that's. I I really feel like this that that jump in a singularity level is just not worth it. So I'm just I'm just gonna wait for E100 increment T. I should be able to get one more manifold out of this, which means one more singularity level. So yeah, seen a bit. Also, I never even noticed this bonus. It's your 3.15 Omega Challenge completions, multiplying booster gain from milestones and ordinal point gain by 3.15. So it's actually making a minor difference, but it's not all that big. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get a Google Incrementy for the first time, which allows me to get an additional manifold, which means one more singularity level, which will help things. I'm now getting 3E98 per second, and I could probably get all the way up to as much as E99 per second, but the thing is that the next 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 thing is quite far away. It's just a double the production of increment T upgrade at E102, and then the next thing is E105. So I don't think it's worth it to do that. I think now I should try going into Baseless Milestone 3. So what I'm, what I'm going to do, I will maybe I'll, I'll, I'll first turn on this auto procedure again and go go into the challenges. Um, just so I can do challenge four and hopefully this will I'll be able to get very far from this. So I'm yeah, I've maxed all of this and maybe my singularity level can yeah, my singularity level is obviously should be one. Maybe also my singularity function build is a little off, perhaps. I don't I really don't think so. I'm not sure if I can really get the spaceless milestone complete because um, yeah, I'm at Omega to the Omega squared plus, times 4 plus 3. I forgot it was base 5. I thought it was in base 4 for some reason. So, I, I'm, I'm really not sure. I mean, there, of course, there is a dynamic factor, but it's barely, in, I mean, the, the cap is barely increasing. This is increasing quite a bit. Um, the thing is, it's only increasing at a linear rate, so I'm really not sure if I'm going to be able to beat this. People are saying that this is the thing I should be doing at this point. So, yeah, I'm, I again feel stuck, but I feel like this is what they told me I should do. Like this multiplier is up to 1.7 E21, which is about six orders of magnitude higher than before, which is, if you convert that into base five, that is approximately, I think that's around nine or 10 base five orders of magnitude. So it's not exactly the most, and I don't, I don't, I don't really think I can do anything in the singularity functions. I think I just have to wait, and I'm, I have no idea if this is actually possible because, like, even with this quadruple, or like with all the dynamic factor, even if I wait, e three, more seconds than this, then this is maybe about e five or maybe seven base five orders of magnitude. And I'm about, actually I'm only about 10 base 5 orders of magnitude away. So I should be able to, or the thing is, no, I, I estimated I could only get 7. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I can actually do this. Can't get any increment T or anything. I have the most challenge completions I, I can possibly get. I mean, I really don't think that... I could get another challenge completion 
going. So, yeah, this is going to be a very long time wall. I really have no idea how people say it's easy to do this because it's not. Maybe I'm somehow missing something crucial, but I don't I don't see what I'm missing. I have more also for every reason I've right, it's 20 plus 63 it's, it's the singularity yeah I can't really do anything here and also with the olive power stuff I'm not now up to 1.06 e 33 so I'm, I'm getting closer to getting another singularity level from that but it's really it's just one singularity level like I, my singularity only goes to 84 so yeah I'm this is gonna be a big time wall so yeah see you in a long while Okay, it's been five days, and I finally have the ordinal I need to have Baseless Milestone 3 completed. So this means I forever keep the first four Singularity Function upgrades, and um, I unlock, I, mean, I have to go somewhere, yeah, Baseless Milestones, and unlock Advanced Auto Shift. I think that's an auto procedure feature, it says Advanced Auto shift to max of five factor shifts in challenge eight. I probably should turn that on. That'll be very nice to have. And now if I refund, I will be able to get a lot more singularity functions here because now I, like with all of these functions, I'll be able to make better builds, which hopefully will be a game changer. I, I really hope that's gonna be a game changer. And yeah, I'm just gonna exit the challenge now and go, I'm gonna go into challenge eight here. And, um, so I'm going to go into base 5, I'm going to definitely want this, I can also do this, which may be big, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to press M to max this, and I still can't even, I can't even get to Omega to the Omega times 4, so that's, that isn't a very good sign. Maybe what I can do, I can do this build instead, that, maybe this is a better build, and this will allow me to... Hopefully do a lot of things. Yeah, E43, E45 ordinal points. And it doesn't look like I can get any more than that. So, I'm not really sure. Yeah, that's not going to allow me to get another completion. I keep thinking I can get another completion. But even with all of this, this doesn't really do anything. That's the, that's the problem. So, yeah, I, I probably should just do this. And this, and then you still you can see it. I, uh, yeah, it's still E48 ordinal points, so I'm nowhere close to be able to complete this challenge more, but at least it's nice to have. Like, maybe actually if I just try grinding factor boost instead of going to challenge 8, maybe then I, maybe then there's an advantage here, because if I go up to a better singularity level, and I go to singularity functions, I refund, and just get, like, a build that's good for this goal like this maybe then i can get a lot more factor boost per second perhaps maybe hopefully oh 43 million per second yeah that's that's more than i thought and it looks like what is the max it's 71 is the best singularity level so this is actually surprising i didn't didn't expect it to be like this i expected to get something but maybe not maybe i, I could even go for increment t perhaps because if I just turn off the um, auto procedure of factor boosting, let's see how much increment -y I can get if I raise my singularity to, um, I can get maybe, this doesn't look really good because I yes I am getting E99, I could probably get like a singularity of 82 and this will allow me to, I mean I could try to get the E102 here, actually I will get the E102, it won't take too long, it, at this rate it'll take maybe around 10 minutes to reach E102, so I'm just gonna go for that, and then let me grind some more factor boosts, because maybe, I, I need 1.97 E33 Aleph Omegas here, and right now I'm at, if I go here, I'm at 1.16 E33 plus 2.09 E32. That's about 1.37 um, E33. That's okay. That's really not. That's it's 70% of the way there. But the all the way there is like multiple months. So 
like, yeah. Well, uh, maybe I c I'll be able to do Omega Challenge 1. Actually, people are saying I should do Omega Challenge 1 and 2. And that's, that's what I'll try next episode. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.